Hey guys, it's me McKay. Yes, this is another redo of my book, and this time, I'm gonna do it better this time. And, uh, like I said in the previous one, if you guys saw the previous one, which you probably didn't, to be honest, but... I'm gonna say it again, the art in this video is not made by me. This art, there's art in this video that has, that have, that have been made by someone else. And, yeah. This is not the art. I did not make the art in this video and own the story. And this is my own story with characters from other games that I have gave new names and new stories to. So he c to avoid copyright stuff. Anyway, enjoy. I'm gonna have it read it to you guys. Access updated. Oh, don't know what that was. Sorry. The X Realm. Amethyst the the Dragon. Book. The amethyst dragon is a species of almost extinct drag. Oh, before I continue, guys, I'm just going to let this whole thing read to you. So if you guys want to read the whole thing, go ahead and do it. Or you can't really see it from your angle, but I'm going to just have this thing read the whole story and you guys can just enjoy it. They look kind, but they are very vicious. Although they seem kind-hearted at first. If they were to be tamed by the wrong person, they can be an ultimate weapon of destruction. And the powers are breathing intense fire. They also have magic capabilities, and they can fly very fast. And when this dragon meets a fairy it can travel through time and space. And they can also control other elements. Aspire you know the deal. The special thing about it is, when it's when he gathers all the heat in his body, it can blast a fire blast powerful enough to mount metal. This dragon is very strong. Luckily there are not that many left well sort of. The Devourer Soras. This is the Devourosaurus. This is an ancient species of dinosaurs that's been around since when the kingdom of Shrooms was rising. They were normally creatures that were native to that place until a lot of them were killed by the Amethyst Dragons. These species have been at war for centuries and only a few of them stand living. These dinosaurs has a huge appetite, although they may need like to eat apples and pretty much almost everything they see. And they may look vicious, but they're actually really nice. They even yet you right on the back of them. And they can stick their tongue out to approximately to 5 to 8 meters. These creatures are nice and kind. Don't be afraid of one if you see it in the wild. As long as you never ever mess with their eggs. Don't ask. Horn King. This is the Horn King. He is the king of the lava realm. He is also one of the seven deadly sins. He is the sense of wrath. His power is almost unstoppable. He can bring fire of almost 100 degrees. He can go inside a shell and act like a shield. With this sin power, he can transform into a great beast. This is his sins from all of the seven deadly sins has a form like this they can transform to. And what's interesting about this form is that his power grows immensely. His fire gets sort of harder. The fire turns blue and it can go up to 400 degrees. He can destroy an entire castle with one fire breath. His only weakness he is very weak to cold environment. In this just shows he is one of the most powerful beings. In the X realm. Fuzzy. This is Fuzzy she may not seem like it. But he is actually one of the seven deadly sins. Isn't it obvious he is gluttony? Now I know Horn King was evil. But Fuzzy here is actually really nice. She makes sure everything is alright. And she's incredibly kind. She's also the queen of the realm of mythical creatures. Although the only quite threatening thing about her is her appetite she once consumed. An entire army of men. Of course the men were trying to kill her. Because her fur is really rare. But she shows anyone who's boss when she meets a threat. And she's probably one is the only good sins. And because of that she no longer has access to her sin form. But she is still kind and sweet. Just don't make her hungry. Terror. This is Terror. He is a pterodactyl species. And he's the only one of his kind. But he's still a very bad force to be working with. And he's also the sin of greed. And like the others he also has a sin form. When he's in this form he is very powerful. He can breathe the magma ball. Like a cat that with a hairball. In a fun fact he is actually the leader of the seven deadly sins beware terror. This is Bluey. He is also a seven deadly sin. 
He is slug, he is very lazy. And when he's not lazy, he looks like this. This is his sin form. In this form, he is very vicious and mean. That's really not it much to say. This is Beak. Beak is another seven deadly sins starting get at the gist of it now. He doesn't have a sin form because he's too weak for it. And also I'm running out of ideas as a readiness. He is the sin of pride. He only cares about himself basically. He's very selfish. And he only cares about that snail. And he hates Horn King. Because he ate the snail. This is Mr. Seven. Like the others he's also a seven deadly sin. He is obviously envy. Not a lot of people care about him. But he is still strong. Cause this is a sin form. This is seven death. The most powerful amongst all the seven deadly sins this is what happens when he fuses what the other sins he turns into a death dragon. Never mess with seven him in the seven deadly sins. Anyway that's all I have for the story. You're probably wondering who I am. I am your guide and narrator of the stories. Call me. The one who knows all. The end. Hope you all enjoyed that.